Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video, Guiding Light here, and in today's video, I'm actually going to bring you guys my first ever Q&A here on this channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately, and with the crazy amount of growth that we've been having on the channel the last few months, a lot of people have been dropping a lot of questions in the comments recently, so I figured I would try to compile them all into one video and answer as many of them as humanly possible. Now if I don't get to any of your questions this time around guys, be sure to check out my Twitter link. I'm going to leave that in the description as well so you can send me any more questions you might have for a second video sometime in the future. So without wasting any more time guys, let's just jump right on into these questions. I'm actually going to go straight into my comments and just try to pull as many questions as I can find as fast as I can. So we're going to stop out with the first question that I just got last night, which was from a brand new user I've actually never seen comment on this channel before. So welcome to the channel if you're new and thank you for commenting this question. So the very first question I've gotten is, do I speak German? Now, unfortunately, guys, I do not speak any other languages other than English. I I like to believe I can do a pretty decent British accent or, you know, like some sort of impersonations. But other than that, that's really all I speak is English. I might know a few words here and there, like Spanish or Italian, but that's really it. I'm not going to be able to hold a conversation with you or even understand a word you're saying if you don't speak English. Now, for the next question, I get this question as probably every single day, at least over the weekend. So I definitely want to try to answer it in this video. So... Can you help me in Trials of Osiris? Now the answer is yes. Now unfortunately, there are a ton of people that message me like I just said, so it's not exactly easy just to get to everyone and just carry as many people, so I can't just sit here and say yes, I can carry you and just say that to all of you. But the best chance in order to get a some sort of a carry or at least Trials of Osiris help is just to send me a message on PlayStation Network. Also, be sure to check out the live streams that I do over on my Twitch account. I usually stream on YouTube on Fridays and then Twitch on the other days throughout the weekend. So that is where you'll find me if you want to actually get into a raffle. Now, if you guys don't know what the raffles are, it's basically like a mini lottery that gets run inside of the stream. And now you can all buy tickets to join. And then once I pull the winner, one person will pretty much be guaranteed to get that flawless help right then and there. So we'll invite you to the party chat, get you in the game, and we'll start playing. So that's pretty much how you can get Trials of Osiris help. If you can't find me in the streams, again, just shoot me a message on PSN, although there's a lot better chance if you're just in the stream. Now for the next question, a lot of you guys probably already know the answer to this, but for those who do not, that are asking, what console do I play on? Now I'm only on PlayStation 4 guys, if you'll never usually see me on Xbox, I was thinking about getting one back around Black Friday because I knew I could get a really good deal on an Xbox, but when I was thinking about it, I would have to re-level up all of my Destiny characters, re-get all of my guns and armor, and there's not even a guarantee that I would get good rolls on the guns that I actually do get. And after thinking about all of that, I kind of just decided it was really not the best interest for me to buy an Xbox at this time. If Destiny 2 brings some sort of character swap system or maybe even has some sort of cross-platform play, you'll definitely be able to get some help from me if you are on Xbox, and I might actually buy an Xbox one day. But when I was thinking about it, at least right now, all the time I would have to spend leveling up really just wasn't worth it. So for now, all you're really going to catch me on is the PlayStation 4 system. Now for this next question, you guys, will I ever integrate a face cam into my videos? Now this is something I was thinking about even back from when I first originally started my YouTube whether or not I would ever use a face cam or anything like that. Now, a lot of people have been asking, and the more people have asked me, the more I've been trying to think, you know, should I actually go out and buy a face cam, uh, or should I, like, what should I really do? Now, to be honest with you, I like to believe the content is decent enough without a face cam, but if that's something you guys really did want to see, then eventually I probably would go out and actually get a face cam for you guys, and I would use it a lot in my Rumble challenges, as well as my live streams. So if you definitely do want to see a face cam or anything like that, you guys just need to let me know as if I see a lot of support for it and I see a lot of people really want it, then I'll probably go ahead and do it. But until then, I'll probably just keep with the same system that's been working for now with no face cam, as I feel like the gameplay and everything else is pretty decent at this time. I don't really think a face cam would really make much of a difference for the videos. But like I said, it's up to you guys. If you want to see a face cam, just let me know. Now for this next question, how long have you been doing YouTube? Now, as far as watching YouTube goes, I've pretty much been watching YouTube since it first came out back in like 2006 or 7. But as for actually making my channel and content on this channel, so I started this channel on November 4th of 2014. Now, the only reason I even started my channel was to upload this one video on Advanced Warfare. Right when it first came out, I broke 100 kills, and I thought that I was one of the first people to break 100 kills in Advanced Warfare, so I thought that would be a really awesome video to upload. Now, after I uploaded that video, my YouTube channel didn't even have any uploads for like 4 or 5 months. I never really even played it, and I didn't really upload videos all that often as well either. You would see a couple of Call of Duty videos here and there, but really it was just for gameplay, just to show my friends and stuff like that, not really to build my channel or anything. Now, once I started playing Destiny more and more, I kind of got into YouTube even more, and I started watching a lot of Destiny YouTubers. Ones that you guys probably already know yourselves, like True Vanguard, Cami Cakes, Miss 5000 Watts, Willis Gaming, and pretty much all the other Destiny YouTubers you guys can think of, I used to watch. 
and I started liking Destiny more and more and to the point where I actually thought I should start uploading videos myself. Now that started somewhere around May of 2015, so I've been doing YouTube for almost two years now, about a year and seven months. So it's been quite a while, and we're just now starting to see a crazy amount of growth on the channel. So for everyone that's new, or for anyone that's been here for, since the beginning, I definitely want to just say thank you as well. And welcome to the channel, hopefully you guys are enjoying what you see. And for those of you who have been here for since the beginning, I hope you guys are still enjoying the channel as much as you did when you first got here. So for the next question guys, what kind of PlayStation controller do I use? Now because of the way that I move around the map and the crazy movements that people see me do sometimes, people assume that I'm using some sort of scuff controller or some sort of weird like modded controller. But the truth of the matter is, I'm actually just using the standard DualShock 4. If you want to say that the blue edition of the controller gives me some sort of extra skill, then you definitely want to maybe invest in a blue PlayStation controller, that's what I use. But other than that guys, I do play Claw, so if you see me do any crazy movements or if you see me reviving and shooting at the same time, I don't have paddles or anything on the back of my controllers, I'm simply just playing claw, which allows me to do a lot of things like move and aim at the same time, as well as revive and shoot at the same time. So if you guys don't play claw, I'm not going to say I suggest playing it, but that's just simply how I started playing over the time. And I definitely feel that it works for me, and it definitely gives me a bit of an advantage. But other than that, guys, I don't use any sort of special controllers or mods or anything like that. That's just ridiculous. Now the next question, how did you get so good at Destiny? Now to be honest with you guys, I was actually pretty bad at Destiny. If you ever if I've actually gone back and watched some of my year one gameplay and it's really just sad to even watch. And I was just in all honesty, I really wasn't the best player at this game at all. Now, like I said before, once I started getting really interested in this game, somewhere around like May of 2015, I started playing more and more and just watching more and more YouTube videos. Now, from watching so many YouTube videos, I got really interested in just getting good in the Crucible as I just don't really like to be bad at something that I'm going to put time into. So the more I played Crucible, the more I started learning like what I was doing wrong and what everyone else was kind of doing right. And I started learning you know, how the game really works because there was, there was a pretty good time. There was a few months of time where I didn't even know that you could change the scopes of your sniper rifles. So there, like I said, I was pretty terrible at this game. And once I started just simply learning everything about it, it was a lot easier to get better. You know, I didn't even know that you could switch to rifle barrel. I didn't know that you could even switch your sniper scope. So if you're bad at this game and you're just thinking, wow, I'm never going to get good, simply just try to look up some guides online, you know, try to figure out how this game really works, you know, regens, how your shield works, how your grenades regen and stuff like that, intellect and discipline. Now, once you learn how all of those things work, you can actually get into your gameplay and try to figure out what it is you're doing wrong, you know, with, are you missing your shots, you need to turn your sensitivity down, you know, are you using bad loadouts, you know, that's kind of how you end up getting better. And that's how I ended up getting better for all the people that really want to know how I got decent at this game. That's pretty much what I did. Now for this next question, this is going to wrap things up because this video is getting a bit long, but like I said guys, if you have any more questions, be sure to drop them in my Twitter. If it's something I can answer quickly, I'll just go ahead and answer you on Twitter in a message or something like that. But if I end up getting a bunch of people asking me the same questions or just something that takes a little bit more time to answer, I'll definitely throw it in the part two as well. So like I said guys, link down below to my Twitter account and that way you can send me all your questions as well. So for the final question, what do I actually use to make my videos? Now, for those of you guys who have been with the channel since the beginning, I literally used to just use the PlayStation software, like the Create Masterpiece thing, the SharePlay, that's what I used for about two months or so. Now, after about two months, I found out that you could actually take a flash drive and export the videos that you record on your PlayStation to a flash drive to then edit on your computer later. So, for the longest time, and I mean about the first year of YouTube, that's what I was doing. Anytime I'd make a guide, a video, anything at all it would literally just be something that I would click the share button on my controller for it just to save it and then I would go back with just a normal 8 gigabyte flash drive and then export all the videos to this one stupid flash drive and it was the longest and just stupidest process of all time and I was doing that for about a year and a half like there was just the longest time where I would have to it would take me about five hours just to make a video because of how long and just how many processes I would have to go through now, once the channel started getting some growth and I just started actually enjoying YouTube more and just making Destiny videos, I really wanted to make the quality better and as you guys know, the PlayStation only records in 720p, so I invested in an Elgato HD60 which really did help the channel a lot. It helps the content go from 720p all the way up to 1080p and although Destiny is only in 30 frames per second, I can now record in 60 frames per second for Destiny 2 and for Call of Duty or any other games that I might want to play. So for everybody that's asking what I use, I pretty much just use an Elgato HD60, pretty much what like 90% of YouTubers probably use nowadays. 
So, for anyone that's trying to start YouTube or just doesn't think that they have the resources, if you have a PlayStation 4 and a flash drive, or really you don't even need the flash drive because you have SharePlay built right in. So for anyone that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you have your PS4, just know that that literally is all that you're going to need to start your channel. Now, I'm not going to say that you're going to grow like crazy fast, but if you're someone that just wants to basically do what I do and just try to make YouTube videos and grow on YouTube, just know that you can do it with literally just your DualShock 4 controller and the PlayStation 4 just like I did. Don't think you need all this special and crazy equipment just to go out and start a channel. But just know that if once you start growing, you know, try to invest in some stuff that's going to make your content better, like a mic, you know, HD60, whatever you feel is necessary, or really whatever people end up asking for in your comments. You know, I literally started this channel with my PlayStation 4 and a flash drive, so I definitely know that you guys can do the same thing. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much everything for this Q&A. Like I said a few times already, be sure to drop any more questions you have in my Twitter. I'll try to make another video as soon as possible if I end up getting a bunch of questions. Without all that being said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel. And I will catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new Destiny video. Peace.